What is good everybody, welcome back to another Mighty Up Toys video. Today we're wrapping up our WWE Elite 104 action figure reviews on Father and Son. We have WWE Elite 104 Braun Breaker and Rick Steiner here together to cover today, man. Pretty amazing because we get both of these guys' first ever elites in the same wave, which may be a first time ever. I don't think we've ever seen two guys' first elites, father-son duos. We have seen some father-son duos in elite figure form before. We've seen Rey and Don Mysterio. We've seen Rey Andy and Bob Orton. There may be a few others that are skipping my brain, but those are the ones that come to my mind first off the cuff. Now, Rick Steiner, first time in the line. A lot of people assuming at San Diego Comic-Con probably going to get Steiner Brothers figures, probably going to get some other versions of Rick Steiner, maybe in this gear, which actually is inspired by Rick Steiner's original gear that he rocked back in the day. So this is a very cool throwback or homage to that gear. Very cool stuff going full circle here in the wrestling action figure world here. But anyway, man, what we're going to do is we're going to obviously take a look at these guys and unbox them but if you guys like what you see already you want to grab these figures go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent looking forward to ranking this set i think we're in for a good treat here as we unbox the last two i think the ranking might surprise some people but we will not know until we break these guys out of the packaging get everything going but Here's the front viewing window. You know, Rick Steiner, we thought for a second there that this figure wasn't going to come to fruition. But maybe now that he's got one, maybe all of his rest can come to fruition as well. But he's looking good here. I, I like what I'm seeing here. Rick Steiner, you got Rick Steiner on the side, and then you got Rick Steiner on the back looking pretty damn good there. Actually, a pretty good wave so far. I think this this figure set's doing okay. And then we do a Braun Breaker here, which I've never been a huge Braun Breaker guy. But uh, he looks pretty toyetic, and he's got the pink going on. You guys know that I'm all here for that. But nonetheless, man... Let's go ahead, shut the hell up, crack Braun Breaker and his father out of the packaging, find out what they're about, and put him on the rotating base. So here is Rick Steiner and Braun Breaker out of the packaging, spinning round and round, man. I like some things about the figures, and I don't like some things, which we're going to, of course, dive into all the way through on the figures. But I can say right off the bat, both figures feel really good in hand. They have a really similar formula. They are father and son, so, you know, they, they run the same bloodline. They cut from the same cloth, you know, all those different things. So you should get some relatively similar things here, but we're going to dive into all those things specifically and go ahead and break everything down, man. So what we're going to do is run through Braun Breaker's accessories and Braun Breaker, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Rick Steiner's accessories and Rick Steiner. So for Braun Breaker's accessories, man, getting into the NXT Championship, pretty much what we're looking at is just the NXT Championship. At least I don't think it's any new sculpts. I don't... It might have some new sculpts in there that I'm missing, but you do have the new NXT Championship here. You guys can see they added, like, the NXT 2.0 colors in there. So it got the orange. It's got the blue in there. It's just like a line painted in there. It's kind of like an optical illusion. You know, when you stand back, it kind of looks like it's a little bit more reflective there, and you got the blues and the oranges in there, which is kind of cool. You know, it's nothing crazy or immaculate over the top, but it gets the job done. I like the NXT title. I like the big X in the middle. I think a, a color or like a, what if they did like that same orange and blue thing, but they had it like ombre across would make the X stand out better. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spitballing, but it is a new championship. And then for a Braun Breaker interchangeable hands, you just get the black tape, black peg, which is good. Black peg, fisted hands, and they always make the world go around classic mic holding or grappling object holding style hands and that's all you get for Braun Breaker not a ton but at least you get a championship so getting into Braun Breaker man starting out with the head sculpt I like this head sculpt I like it certainly better than his basic figure which I don't own but I still think this head sculpt is better than that if you guys have seen that figure but to me the head sculpt also kind of resembles like Clay Thompson somewhat like it has Clay Thompson vibes going on with it I don't know if anybody else is seeing that but you guys can let me know down below but head sculpt does look good I like the fade on the side and the goatee and everything like that I think he's looking pretty good here going down to the torso so this is like the Ryback style torso, or it looks very similar to the Ryback torso. You know, it's over jacked, uh, super cut up. You got the pink singlet. He's got like his travel tie up here on the upper shoulder. Very early 2000s vibes going on there. Got all the number gear going on, which of course is paying homage to his father's gear that he wore back in the day with all the numbers and the pink in there. And then you got the black in there. Got the black tape in there. Big arms on the back. Got the same singlet design going down into, you know, the undershorts or the sliding shorts. Lots of different names for those there, but compression shorts shorts and then you do have the pink knee pads in there that are open and then you have the solid black boots that do have breaker down the side so that looks good there with the white text and this figure actually feels really damn good in in hand man he like poses around really well so if you guys like when i tell you that a figure feels good in hand like you listen to that and go oh yeah that means i'm gonna enjoy this figure well this figure has that it does feel good got the smooth joints and everything he's got ball joints feels really quality poses around does all the good things there but unfortunately i don't have his basic figure 
so I cannot compare him to his basic, but what I can compare him to is his father. Now, I know that might be a little bit underwhelming, and well, I'm sorry. But you guys can see these guys pretty much have the exact same build. Like, leg mold is the Dolph Ziggler leg mold. Ball joint's very poseable, so I always enjoy that, but yeah, they have, it, they're pretty much repaints of each other with different head sculpts, pretty much. I mean, that's kind of what you're getting here, so that kind of tells you and shows you what kind of differences you can get between two figures that use the exact same body mold from head to toe. Change of head sculpt, things like that. These look to be the exact same figure. Singlet mold's the same, crotch piece, the legs. Only change is a head sculpt, so there's that. Now, getting into Rick Steiner's accessory, we do get a new leather jacket, but it's a big damn clobbering rubber mess, Brad. The breaking it down here man it is a thick mess this is a big just rubber monstrosity but i don't know how they're gonna reuse this or i guess they could probably shave off these little dogs at the top right here but i do like the unique sculpts here it's kind of hard to see here you do have these like bulldogs or these dogs at the top here which are pretty cool they're soft and pliable it says beware of the dog Got the dog there, got the flames down the side, and then on the other side you get the same design there, it looks, or is that a different, that's a different logo, look at that. Flip it on the back, it does say Dogface Gremlin, you got the big bulldog there, shout out all the Georgia fans, psych, roll tide. Then you got the silver zipper going down, it's, I mean it's nicely painted, it's just one big rubber mess, and it does have like nice details for display. Outside of that we do get his red bandana right here, which looks good. I do believe we've seen this sculpt before, I'm trying to think of who this came with, but it fits on the figure nice, which is always good, it's got a nice pattern on there, and it fits the head well so that's really all you can ask for for a bandana accessory now we also get these gold sunglasses which look to be a new mold i'm not entirely sure about that but he did come with one of those like thin rubber band clear things and i'm guessing that's to hold the glasses on but i don't know i think it fits the figure well and it stays on pretty good now let's see if we could put the bandana on there without knocking the glasses off it looks and seems plausible i don't think you necessarily need that rubber band so that's good i don't think you necessarily need it but it is nice to have i guess so hold on to that, but I think you can get it on there without, you know, you can finagle it a little bit and get it to go. So I think Rick Steiner's looking good there, and I like that, that glasses sculpt, and it's got like the reflective paint in there, so that's nice. Now we also get his dog collar. Now one thing that's cool about this is this is actually the dog collar that came with a junkyard dog, except it doesn't have the chain attached to it, but it does have the studs on there. It's got the little loop, and then it does have the little plug deal there. Kind of wish they would have made this like Jazz Wears, where it's just one big piece, but I guess it's nice to be able to unstrap it. I just, because it's realistic, but getting this to be plugged, like I found to take the head off, plug it, put it over the neck, then plug the head back on is the easiest way to do so. Because if you try to just wrap it around the neck and plug it in, it's very difficult because the head sculpt gets in the way. So that's just a little tip. And then outside of that, you get the same hands you see with Braun Breaker pretty much. You get the mic holding, object holding, black peg, black hand tape hands. And then you do get the fisted hands with the same black peg and black hand tape to beat the hell out of people. Now getting into the Rick Steiner figure starting out with the head sculpt. I think it does have some pretty good likeness here. He's got like the squinty look kind of a sleepy look going on I like the blonde there on the goatee. I feel like it's too brown, though. I feel like it could be a bit more blonde here, but I like it. It kind of looks like I have a buddy. We're not like, I guess I wouldn't necessarily call us friends, but, you know, we're acquaintances, and it kind of looks like like one of my buddies there. So that's pretty good. You know, he's got the spiked haircut. Black looks good on the hair and the beard sculpt, the likeness, everything like that. Again, it is the Braun Breaker body mold and everything like that, except you do get the black singlet, and then he does have a tattoo over here, which looks good. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it kind of looks like a monstrosity. Going down, he does have the black wrist tape with the white under tape, so it's got like the double tape there, which looks good. All the good stuff going on here with the singlet again black, and then on the back, it does say bite me, which honestly kind of shocks me that they put that on there for Mattel. You know, Mattel's kind of iffy on stuff like this, so especially being Rick Steiner, so they got kind of a two-for-one whammy deal going on there. Rick Steiner, and you put bite me on the tights. I mean, what are we doing? But you go down, he's got the solid black knee pads. You know, not the most like toyetic of all time, but I do like the airbrush boots down here, which are very cool. You got like these like flames and fire going on which is very early 2000s man that airbrush look with the dog and you got bite me down there on the boots and then you got the same thing and then you got the crossbones on the back i mean this guy probably brought the boots to an airbrushed artist or something like that at the beach or something like that man and he just airbrushed the hell out of them he probably went to the same guy hogan went to or probably the same guy rvd went to or something like that and had those things airbrushed up or maybe wwe had somebody that worked back there that would 
airbrush guy's boots, but whoever did Hogan's airbrush boots, super talented guy. I mean, like, I love airbrush designs and airbrush t-shirts and stuff like that, man. That was a great thing growing up, is airbrush things. Like, everything was being airbrushed. You can get a lot of details and cool stuff and, you know, different things like that, but the body for this guy is very, very posable, just like his son. I mean, it's, it's the same body mold, so what you're gonna see is the same exact thing. So, we got the same guys in here to compare to, because I don't really have a Scott Steiner figure or another Rick Steiner in this comparison, but what is cool is in Elite 105, we're going to see Scott Steiner. So, you know, we we're supposed to have our crowdfunder Scott Steiner Ultimate coming, but we saw how that panned out, damn it. Sad, sad day. But I expect to see at least a couple Steiners at San Diego Comic-Con, maybe Elite 105 Scott, and then maybe some Ultimate Editions of the Steiner Bros, maybe a ringside exclusive pack like the Usos, potentially, with their Michigan Letterman jackets or something. We'll see, but that pretty much wraps up our Rick Steiner and our Braun Breaker. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite 104 review on Father, Son, Rick Steiner, Braun Breaker here in the review, man. I enjoy both figures. I think both of them feel really immaculate in hand, to be honest with you. A lot of posability out of these guys. They look great aesthetically. You know, nice figures as they are. But I do think that, like, some of the proportions are off, like, on Rick Steiner. I don't think he was quite near. Like, obviously, action figures are overdone. They're overdramatic, if you will, or they overcompensate. They make you look more jacked and better than you actually look. They're not realistic all the way in their body proportions, in their musculature, all those different things. Because I think Rick Steiner was a little bit more stumpy than this. He wasn't as just straight up proportionate and muscular here. But it's still a really awesome figure. It feels great in hand. It posed around nice. A bit plain Jane on the singlet. I wish we could have got some more airbrushed designs on there. But the bite me is cool. The head sculpt's cool. I like the headband, the dog collar. Not a big fan of the rubber jacket. But this is a Rick Steiner figure that I know a lot of people are going to want in their collection. So it would completely make sense to fill that hole. I love the details on the airbrush boots. I think Mattel did a great job there. And the Braun Breaker is great. I know he's the chase in the set, but I like the pink better than the yellow. That's just going to be me there, and I like the homage to his father there. NXT title is what it is. It's just a repaint pretty much of classic NXT title. I like the head sculpt. I think overall it is a figure that you're going to want to seek out. I think it's going to be something that you're going to want later on, especially once he hits the main roster. You know, I'm not a big NXT 2.0 guy. I, I can't really get into it. I've tried multiple times. I like individual talent over there, but watching it week in, week out, not missing a show, definitely not for me. But at the end of the day, I enjoy both these figures, and I think that uh, I get the, I, I, I seal of approval both of them. So if you guys are like these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there, of course. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up today's two-in-one video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. At the time of seeing this video, the SDCC exclusive should be revealed. I think it's going to be at 8 a.m. Central Time at the time of recording this. It's not quite that time, but by the time this is posted, it probably will be time. So we will do a video fully breaking down the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, so definitely look forward to that video on the channel if you guys have not checked it out already. Very interesting choice, though, as I can say, but but before we get out of here, a huge shout-out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. If you guys are interested, click the link in the description below. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'd greatly appreciate it, but I am getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on all the socials. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. You'll never